Hello everybody, my name's Paul Stockdale from ABCPE, the site where we try and make VCEPE as easy as ABC. Uh, today I'd like to talk to you about force summation or uh, another word for it is summation of momentum. Uh, basically we use summation of momentum or force summation whenever we try and throw, kick, hit an object as far as we possibly can. Uh, we try and use as many body parts as possible um, to send the projectile as far as possible um, by making sure that it's at maximum velocity when we release it. Um, one thing to keep in mind here uh, as we go through is that momentum is mass times velocity. I will come back to that point shortly. Uh, so for maximum force, there are four things that I need you to remember when we're summating forces. The first and possibly most important is that we want to try and use as many body parts as we possibly can. The second is we want to move those body parts in sequence. I often tell my students that we throw with our legs and they think I'm really silly. Well, we do throw with our legs because they are the stronger muscles. And what we want to try and do is have a sequence where we use the stronger muscles or body parts that are heavier but slower. Remember, mass times velocity. And then we start to bring in body parts that are smaller, weaker, lighter, but faster, such as the body parts of the arm and the wrist and the fingers. And the fastest body part needs to be the part that touches the ball at the last moment so that the ball flies off at the fastest velocity. Um, so timing is important here. Uh, so if we start with the legs and we move to the trunk and then we move to the shoulders and um, we finally get to the wrist, what we want to be doing is making sure that we move the next body part when the previous body part reaches maximal velocity. And then finally, in order to pass all of that momentum on and so it doesn't get lost, we have to stabilize the body parts. So as we move the momentum from one, one body part to the next, that previous body part stabilizes. Here's a video I've made to help explain the uh, force summation concept. I hope it helps. Okay, I'm going to demonstrate now force summation, but I'm going to do it in the opposite way. That is, I'm going to start with the, uh, the lightest and the fastest body parts first. And you'll see that I won't get very far, but as I introduce more body parts, I should be able to throw the ball further. Let's have a look. First body part is my wrist only. The next one is elbow and wrist, and you can see I get uh, a little bit further with the ball. Now I introduce the shoulder, elbow, and wrist. This time I'll in include my trunk. So I'm starting to get those bigger, stronger muscles that weigh more, but travel a little bit slower. Now let's include the legs. And as I'll step forward, then followed by the hips, the trunk, the shoulder, the elbow, the wrist, and the fingers. And uh, that should give me some good distance. And the final one, Run up, full momentum, nice sequence, nice timing, good throwing. That's for summation. Too many exam questions from VCAR on this, but I was able to, um, to muster up uh, a question. And uh, here it is now. I'll give you a moment to read it. And hopefully with this tutorial, you've been able to see that uh, between A, B, C and D, the most correct response was D. How did you go? Well, I hope you went well. Thanks for watching. My name's been Paul Stockdale. And remember, for more student resources, tutoring, or information on any of our study seminars, please go to our website on www.abcpe.com.au. I'll see you next time. Thank you.